From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Temperatures will struggle to get out of the 50s today for many of you. Greg D has your full forecast coming up, but first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. Plans to rebuild could move forward today for a Polk County church destroyed by a tornado. We told you that Mount Tabor Baptist Church finally held services in their sanctuary this weekend. So a lot of work to do, though, when it comes to permanent fixes. Church leaders are coming up with plans to rebuild, but it will take extra money to do so. They'll go to Polk County commissioners today to present their plans to try to get approval. Neighbors will try to stop Tarpon Springs from annexing 43 acres of land. A developer wants to build dozens of homes there. It's a map of the property, which is west of East Lake Drive near Cypress Run Golf Course. Neighbors claim annexation would allow Pioneers homes to double the number of homes it could build there. City commissioners will vote on the issue during tonight's meeting, which begins at 630 in Tarpon Springs City Hall. Today, you can help provide a safe place for kids to go when they're not in school as part of Giving Tuesday. PDQ raising money for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Tampa Bay. The fast food chain will sell its hand breaded chicken tender meals at Solicity in downtown Tampa from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 100% of the proceeds will be donated to the Boys and Girls Clubs. In Democracy 2019, two cities holding municipal runoff elections today in Polk County. In Lakeland and Winter Haven, runoffs are occurring for city commission seats because no candidate received 50% of the vote in those races last month. Polls will open today from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You have a great opportunity today to get a better job, start a new career. 33 companies are participating in a job fair today at Steinbrenner Field in Tampa. They include Tech Data, New York Life, and Colonial Life. The job fair runs from 10 to 2. We posted the items you need to take with you to the fair in our free ABC Action News mobile app. And the way you look tonight. And there is legendary singer Tony Bennett returning to the Bay Area this week. The 93-year-old performs tonight at Sarasota's Van Wezel Performing Arts Center and Thursday at St. Pete's Mahaffey Theater. A limited number of tickets still available for both concerts. Pretty amazing, Greg. 93 years young and he's still out there doing it. That is amazing, James. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Temperatures today starting off in the 30s and 40s. Haven't seen blue in the hour of hour planner in quite some time, but with plenty of sun, they should easily climb into the upper 50s to around 60. Now, there's still going to be a cool breeze out there, but not as strong as it was yesterday. Yesterday, those winds gusting over 30 miles an hour. I think those gusts below 20 for much of the afternoon. It'll just be that chilly, dry air that'll make it feel so much cooler. We do have a nice warm up in the seven day forecast that leads us right into the weekend. You can get your latest hour by hour by downloading the ABC Action News app.